or bottle. Mention GCN. Buy Sinofresh.com. It works. Way up Okay, let's let's hear from Mark and Ian how this works because you know they're they're saying yes we can't give all these people free welfare, but I can't even call them illegal because there can't even be laws. Well, that's not going from a little less government to a little less to a little less in orderly fashion, which I agree. We could shrink the state almost down to nothing. That would be a much more individualistic, free, wealthier society. History and common sense show that. But, I mean, uh, I'm going to have to pay the unlimited bankrupt taxes for all the illegal aliens to have all their kids and everything paid for. Alex? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Let's let's focus on that. And real quick, if I could, uh, you keep using a term that really it gets to me. It's we, and I am not the government, and so I, I don't. I, I try my best, and sometimes I'll use this term, and I try to catch myself on it. And Mark and and I try to catch each uh, each other using it because we've been indoctrinated to uh, to speak in this collectivistic uh, speak. And uh, we are not the government; they are the government, and they are going to impose certain things on us. And the people that are out there calling for immigration control are calling for the government to control other people and they're going but to But that have is one of the things the founding fathers said the federal government's supposed to do and listen I mean the globalists the globalists want to get rid of my common culture as an American which means second amendment liberty freedom and so of course the globalists want to get rid of my culture and don't want me to say we Americans and, and then they want to sell it with the globalism uh, let me tell you uh, I mean I mean I, Alex we haven't had. We don't have currently um, in our uh, in our society anywhere near the the most amount of immigrants, first generation immigrants that we've had in the past. So we're not anywhere near the idea of shaking the foundations of our culture. I, I, Benjamin Franklin said the same thing about the the German immigrants in in Pennsylvania back in the uh, 18th century. So I mean these these ideas are nothing new. America is a conglomeration of a bunch of immigrants uh, cultures put together. And it, I believe, is better for it. Is it is the superior culture on the planet? I think as a result, and it's the government that's the the problem. And Mark doesn't speak for me when he answered his question about less government, less government. That may be the way we get to uh, no coercive government. But I myself, am, you know, I'm going to make it straight out here. I am not in favor of coercion uh, between human beings, between peaceful pe peaceful people should not be aggressed against. And so it's okay. Well, it's coercion that my states are going bankrupt. One of the biggest things is the fact of the illegal aliens and all the welfare. And so I guess I've just, but that coercion's okay. I've got to. No, it's no, never no. okay. You're going to get coercion whether you try to put a police state on the border to stop the uh, the Mexicans from coming north, because we don't care about the Canadians coming south, by the way. Um, if you if you try to, to stop the flow of Mexicans. Well, there aren't that many Canadians coming south. Sure. But if you try to stop the flow, you still get the coercion. You still get the tax dollars, but you focus them on bureaucrats, government agents with guns. What are they going to do with those government agents with Guns on the Look, I'm going to tell you this, uh, uh, Ian and Mark. Here, here's the deal. Austin police have told me to my face, and I've seen it in the news, that illegal aliens are God and I am a slave. So I'm telling you, the illegal aliens are the client of the government. The big, wicked, evil government loves the open borders. But I'm supposed to go, I'm a libertarian. Oh, and the illegals are like, take his guns. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, that's how they're voting. <laughs> I'm well, supposed to go. You know what? Here's you're, my gun. Here's you're putting my them gun. all into one group, and you're, you're collectivizing. I'm not surprised that I'm not surprised that people from Mexico vote for Democrats rather than Republicans, because Republicans have certainly made them feel less welcome than Democrats have. I don't vote for either, but I, I I understand how they feel. I think there are plenty of them who are outside the system entirely, and they have no interest in the government. Most just like them. most, just like most Americans don't have well, any let interest. Let me ask in, you this: Is voting. this the Quaker influence? Uh, from up in New Hampshire, because I know the Quakers were big in Mecha La Raza, liberation theology. I mean, is there a Quaker influence to you guys? Because I think I've heard this before. Yeah, there's a Quaker influence, but we've had our beliefs as far as immigrants go back uh, almost to the very beginning of well, the yeah, show. Yeah, but I mean, here's the deal. The Quakers of today are not the Quakers of uh, you know, the, uh, General Green. Oh, I'm very, very familiar with uh, the socialist bend of the Quaker uh, meeting houses. I, I've got it completely, and I talk to them about uh, those issues when, you know, when 
when we have discussions. Uh, I hold their feet to the fire. I make I explain to them that they are against violence and the government is violence, so they can't be for the government. I'm, but they're I not convinced. Them. They just said, let us bring the foreigners in and. We'll talk to you later, Ian, when you're in our FEMA camp. <laughs> the, only thing I've, the only thing I've ever dealt with the Quakers on is uh, the Haitian refugees and sending some money down there for people to get some food. Can we talk about obedience for a moment here, Alex? Obedience I to my Lord Quaker. Yes, that is, uh, that, that, I think that's a, an important factor that need that needs to be touched on here because I think that w what you said earlier, I like a lot of what you said. You know, freedom. If we could have some sort of a society where there was a very small government or, or no government where people are are interacting uh, voluntarily, that'd be good. You wouldn't have a problem with immigration. So really, the goal should be to get there rather than to focus on how to control immigrants and to get to a free society. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like Tony Montana said. It's Scarface, he said, are you a communist? You want a Shivano in every corner telling you what to eat, what to wear, what to say, where you can go, where you can go? You know, I want my human rights, just like the president, Jimmy Cotta, says. And and my issue with all the people south of the border is, because that's most of the people coming in, the illegals, oh, thought crime again, is that they are voting for big government. That's my problem. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The Fall of America and the Western World is an all-new 10-hour documentary and survival guide rolled into one. In this film, you will see the reasons why our government is failing and what you can do to prepare. Featuring Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, Joseph Farah, David Icke, Naomi Wolf, G. Edward Griffin, Doug McIntyre, Mark Crispin Miller, Mickey Z, Doug Casey, David McElvaney, and myself, Alex Jones. Protect yourself and get the tools you need to protect your family from these difficult times. The Fall of America and the Western World at www.thefallofamerica.net or click on the banners at infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. Again, that website's www.thefallofamerica.net or call 800-655-1577. Prepare yourself and the ones you love today. Fallofamerica.net. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. The preacher man says it's the end of time And the Mississippi River, she's a gold dry The interest is up and We got Ian and Mark here and, and I want everybody to sing Kumbaya And humans are humans and humans want freedom The issue is the globalists, the, 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 the statists, the collectivists, you know, the main generals of the New World Order, I'm looking at their battle plan. I'm looking at the hollow deck projection of the 
of the you know individuals and people that want private property and how the enemy's attacking us and worldwide it's overrun Europe's borders overrun other borders whatever first world nation or if it's a poor nation overrun it with the next na door neighbor who's even more poor to create debt to the bankers and so I just go back to this as a realist uh, no country has ever survived with completely open borders. And I understand, you know, the whole Star Trek, Star League, we're all going to be libertarians and galactic deep space flying around together. Uh, but gentlemen, how do we get there then? We, how do we get where? Uh, I mean, so I just, we open the borders now because that's the libertarian thing to do. And then maybe we'll get rid of the welfare. Oh, I don't see how that the welfare system can continue to support an increasing burden upon it. Um, I think the, the, the idea here that because we had a little welfare in the 60s and we have more welfare now that uh, we'll have lots more in the future is saying that because I was 5 feet tall when I was 10 that I'll be 20 feet tall when I'm 40 um, is just – it's not accurate. The, the, the system the, – the United States government is essentially bankrupt. It is, it is on its very – 